Welcome guys, Drake here. Uh, it's a very really quick video about Need for Speed Heat. Uh, a lot of people probably don't care about it anymore. Um, but I've recently been playing with it, trying to get it working. I've had this long-standing issue where it would max out my CPU. I have an 8-core uh, high-threaded Intel CPU and it would put it like 90% and it was just ridiculous. It was just slow, horrible, jerky, laggy, you name it. Getting through loaded menus, ugh, just this disgusting. Um, I've managed to find a tweak fix, quite obvious one as well. There's a file that just has it all laid out in there. One simple tweak, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, this is just a quick show of me flying around, uh, give you a bit of information. Running on a uh, GTX 980, so it's a very old graphics card. I'm waiting for my new one when they finally become available in the next three years. Um, and I'm running this at uh, 2560 by 1440, um, and I'm getting roughly around 45 to 60 frames for my setup. I'm happy with that. I'm not doing any major recording. I don't need to play it at 60 frames per second or anything higher. I'm happy with it. It's a shit EA title, so what does it matter? Um, so, the file. You need to go to your Need for Speeds installation, and in there you go down to the bottom, you'll say user, you'll see a user CFG file, and in there you'll see your thread process count, max process count, and at the bottom the GST render. You want to change that. So mine was set at 8. I knocked it to four, um, and then yeah, you just equal that to your other process accounts. There is another file of this. You go to your My Documents, Need for Speed, Settings, and again, it's the same thing. Go into it and just mirror it to your installation. And that's it. I didn't do anything else to the game. Um, originally in my testing, full screen, um, at my default graphics setup for my 980, and it just runs and it's butter smooth. CPU is clocking around now, clocking, Brr. is now sitting around 40% uh, usage in game, which is a massive cut. Um, and that's not including, I haven't done any of the um, CPU priorities either. So that's just standard as well from installation. There was a thing uh, a while back saying, if you change the priority to make it higher than the rest and stuff, not at all. If you make it lower, then yes, you get a reduced CPU usage. But even then, doing this tweak to the file, it's not needed. It's running as smooth as I would kind of hope it to be. And it's just a really stupid thing, really. Like, there could have been an update to fix that file. Um, they could have done, like, a, a post about it and just said, hey, guys, if you tweak this, if you know what you're doing, cool. And I'm surprised no one else... I've done a bit of research, like, hang on a minute, has anyone else tweaked this file? And it doesn't seem like it, and it's the most obvious. Um, really silly. Um, yeah, I have done some other tweaks to the game since, because obviously my 980 is not the strongest card, and the game is not really kind of even optimized for my card, I don't think. So the other files you did see in that directory are some tweaks I've done um, just to make it run better. I have found that running the game in a window is a lot better. Um, even though that's another stupid thing about the game is if you put it into window mode it's going to put it at the smallest resolution if you in your um, in a file that I'll show you in a minute if you change your resolution base and then when you load it in a window you can just simply uh, alt tab out and then drag the side of your window to make it bigger to fit your screen size Again, that's a really another stupid thing that EA have just screwed up with this game. They seem to be screwing up with a lot of their titles. Um, and again, like this moment here, I was just trying to fix... I was just trying to monitor my GPU usage and CPU usage. Uh, as you can see, there's no real shadow reflections. Uh, there's no real reflections in the water full stop. Um, but I wish you could change the water uh, graphics quality and a few other aspects and again this is another thing where in the menu it's just choose between low medium high and ultra why did they remove the ability to change all of the other options it's so stupid so there's a quick flick of me running it in a window just to show you um, and this is the file so if you go to documents need for speed uh, heat settings and then it's your second one profile options underscore profile and there's a quick view of basically what you get in that document um, I've added a load of lines uh, main thing is just like setting your lighting your mesh um, and then your shadow quality your train quality texture quality uh, texture filtering and then your undergrowth quality again it's just other things that I've just put to to minimum 
um yeah so that's where i'm gonna pretty much round the video off i would say if anything you probably just need to change the user cfg file um if it shows up as just an unreadable document or file you just simply right click open with and then open with a uh, notepad or text document or whatever it is and you can edit it from there make sure you save it you only need to change the actual number don't change anything else in that document um yeah ridiculous video thanks for watching Drake out. Mm -hmm.